and welcome to Level 343's first online video. Uh, what I wanted to share with you today is a reoccurring theme and question that's been in every conversation we've had lately. Basically, how do we monitor and manage our social networks? As a matter of fact, we just received this email from one of our readers I wanted to share with you guys. Hello, SEO Copy. I've been following you for eight months now, and I wonder how you share great information with your readers, whether on Twitter, Facebook, or even LinkedIn, etc. How do you do it? How do you monitor and measure your social media, and is it time-consuming? Signed, Clueless in New York. Great questions, Clueless in New York. But let's be clear. Social network automation is not the same as measuring your social media. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a peek into my morning routine while I monitor, manage several accounts. It takes me about an hour, an hour and a half, and voila, the rest of my day I can actually focus on other aspects of the project. So what, what I mean here is not only can you uh, put things on auto, autopilot, but you can actually go back and, and again, I'll show you uh, uh, some steps to take and respond, connect, engage, all those buzzwords that, uh, you know, marketing people love to hear. So anyway, here it goes. Um, no surprise, I use Hootsuite. Uh, one of the things I love about Hootsuite is that it has a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful seamless platform. What that means is it gives me the capability to navigate from one account to another seamlessly. As you can see here, there's a couple of uh, tabs. Each one of these is a, a, a certain account that I follow and I manage throughout the day. I can bring in Facebook. I can bring in our uh, Facebook fan pages. And the way you do that is uh, via their preferences. Really awesome, awesome preferences. Not only can you manage several accounts, uh, you can also add uh, various feeds of accounts that you want to manage because of a campaign, uh, because of an approach, uh, regardless of what it is. Take a look at this. Uh, you've got Facebook, you've got Facebook fan pages, LinkedIn, MySpace, Foursquare. Um, you could also bring in your RSS feeds, which is another big plus. So what's not to love with Hootsuite. So the question is, how do I personally do it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on one account, which is my SEO copy. So first thing in the morning, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I use Google Alerts. I don't know how many of you are using Google Alerts, but if you don't, you should really consider doing so. Uh, take a look here. Uh, one of our Google Alerts is for SEO content. Nine results. Awesome stuff coming from Search Engine Watch, coming from Internet Search Engine Database, from Mashable, all some wonderful uh, posts that you can share with your readers. And not only are you sharing with your readers, but you're also hitting uh, the keywords for your campaign. This one here is social networks. You've got nine of them to work with. Uh, again, Google Alerts, something I would suggest everyone using as part of a campaign when it comes to targeting your brand, targeting keywords, especially within a uh, you know, program like Hootsuite. So let's get back to Hootsuite here. Another wonderful example that I love using is um, the organic SEO copywriting, the Conversation Daily. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the Paperly. Awesome, awesome, awesome motivation, awesome platform, uh, a great way to connect. And what I mean by that, if you're using Twitter, there is an area right here where you can actually create lists. Now these lists will pull uh, various followers uh, depending on the strategy and the campaign. In this particular instance, I've got uh, a list specifically for writers. And so, voila, there's the list. So we take a look at what was published today uh, wonderful conversations from media to uh, stories to SEO. Uh, take one here, for example. You can use their Twitter button. Let me real quickly find it, and there it is. Now, what I would suggest doing, especially if you're going to start using Hootsuite, is to cut and paste the actual content that the Tweet button gives you, bring it back to Hootsuite, pop it into this area, and make sure you have your account set. Take a look at this. You can actually schedule it. So, 
what a wonderful way to um, automate your campaign in a way that not only are you going to engage your readers in what they want to hear, what they want to read, the keywords that are, uh, you know, important, but you can also schedule it throughout the day. So let's hypothetically schedule this for today at 1.30. I hit OK. I hit Schedule. Et voila, there it is. Throughout the day, uh, you can schedule them for today, tomorrow, depending on your campaign, if you have videos uh, in your campaign, if you have audios. Uh, again, this is the area that you will see them in your pending tweets. Now, the other wonderful thing here is you can continue the conversation in this area, in your mentions. Uh, this is very important when you're using Hootsuite because once you've automated this area here, the pending tweets, you, you walk away. You go back to your project. You go back to your conferences. You go back to wherever you need to go back to. Uh, once you come back into Hootsuite every once in a while throughout your day, you can take a look at your mentions as I, as I stated here. Voila. If you need to respond, you've got an easy reply. If you need to retweet, there it is. Just make sure you stay connected. Make sure you do go back in and uh, continue the conversation. Uh, all these different uh, columns are, again, uh, monitored by you in your preferences depending on the campaign. I hope I've answered your question on how I do it and uh, how I monitor. Now, the next time, uh, the next video, I should say, we're going to take a look at the measuring of your social media. And that's the really wonderful thing about Hootsuite. Uh, since I have several profiles, you can see it gives you not only date ranges, but it also gives you uh, a summary of stats. Click by region, click by top referrals, click by top days, uh, including uh, your top clicks and your top URLs. So that's why uh, when I mentioned bringing your uh, Hootsuite into your own shrinking URL, uh, it's because you can track it better, uh, you know, via the Hootsuite. Now, let's be real clear. One thing that I wanted to make sure that, that we understand, especially when you're connecting with your social media, uh, look at things statistically. Twitter has 175 million registered users. Facebook is creeping to 600. LinkedIn has over 100 million. Um, okay, so it's not clear what percentages regularly use the service, uh, you know, and, and we can get into a whole different discussion. But when you monitor, what you're actually doing is you are discussing. You're getting up close and personal. You're continuously tracking your real time. And this is where you get involved in the conversation. So, you know, you can't help but respond to the mentions. However, when you're measuring, uh, that's when you're looking at the data. That's when you look at what happened numerically. You look at statistics. You look at regions. You look at what piece of audio or video uh, connects with the peaks, lows, uh, where you need to tweak your campaign. And again, you put it on autopilot you walk away, et voila, it's all done. Now, I realize it's no secret. We all want a cookie cutter solution, I get that. You know, I want fixes too. But whenever you're working on social networks, whether Facebook, Twitter, uh, you know, LinkedIn, your fan pages, you've, you've gotta make sure that, that, that one size doesn't fit all. Not one strategy is gonna work with another. It's, that's just not the way, that's not the real world. Uh, numbers matter, but they only matter for you. Uh, not to say don't look at other statistics, but understand them, embrace them, but don't uh, live or die by them. So <laughs> I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, send me an email at seocopy at level343.com. I might even answer in a, in a video. Until then, have a wonderful day and ciao.